Yeah, and I would be nervous around, uh, you know, Ian Desmond as well. He's a handsome looking man there out in the Rockies. So, uh, across the state right now, there are still plenty of thunderstorms as we zoom on in south of Denver. There is still some uh, big activity from Deer Trail all the way down towards Calhan. Really heavy rainfall. There's been a lot of hail mixed in there and, of course, a lot of lightning. I just took away the lightning so we can see a bit better. Heading up into areas north of Denver, starting to see that shift a little bit more towards Platteville right now uh, and uh, uh, near, uh, more near Hudson. There's a little bit heavier rainfall. Also near Estes Park, a little bit heavier rainfall. Bigger thunderstorm earlier near Longmont and Loveland areas. That is now starting to clear and shift a little bit more to the west. South of I-70, a couple scattered thunderstorms from Telluride through Purgatory and uh, close to Creed. Otherwise, most of the activity, again, is kind of close to the Denver area between Castle Rock, Kiowa area, up into parts of Wyoming. Now, what we're looking at here is we have this high pressure that's going to shift just a little bit more to the east. and will still bring an influx of some monsoon moisture coming our way. There's a trough to the north. That pass on through but then we start to see this heat really build in for us and it sort of knocks out the uh, monsoonal uh, flow our direction so once we head past Tuesday it really dries out around here and we are talking uh, some really hot temperatures our hottest temperatures of the year so far but for tonight future cast skies are going to clear tomorrow morning we'll wake up to sunshine and then there will be a chance of a few more afternoon and evening thunderstorms even here in Denver some of those could potentially uh, maybe turn severe out in the eastern plains and maybe still some late night rain down into south Western Colorado. So just watch out for a few more isolated storms tomorrow around the Denver area. And right now it is still pretty warm, but cooled off a bit with those passing storms. 89 in Denver, 79 in Greeley, 100 though right now in La Junta, uh, a little bit cooler out in Ray, 88 degrees, 61 in Frisco right now, 95 in Grand Junction, 90 from our weather watcher Denny in Rifle and checking in downtown, 81 degrees for us with those passing storms and the cloud cover that did develop this afternoon. But earlier today, both DIA and downtown did get to 92 degrees. So obviously we are above our average of 90 degrees, uh, but not anywhere near that record of 101. Tonight you're looking at 64 in Denver, 59 in Fort Collins, mid 60s out on the eastern plains, high country 40s to the 50s. And tomorrow it's still hot, 96 in Denver, 95 in Fort Collins. Back to those triple digits for La Junta and Lamar. You're close to it for most of the eastern plains. Grand Junction, you'll get to 101. High country, it's hot for you too. Some areas are close to 90, 87 in Avon, 86 in Aspen. And looking at our five-day four forecast and 98 on Wednesday. We could hit our first triple digit of the year on Thursday. It is a possibility. The record is 99 degrees for the day. So again, it's hot. It's very sunny around here. So find a way to stay cool. All of the heat advisory tips we talked about last week and make sure that you are staying on your game because it is really going to be hot around here for some time. We're on our game, aren't we? We are. We are on Get on it, guys. Okay, Listen thanks. to me. All right. <laughs>